Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am starving and very, very excited today. I'm going for overall victory number 1,105, coming off that delicious pizza win yesterday in Edinburgh. I'm here for the first time in the greater area is Larbert, Scotland, but technically I'm actually in Stenhouse Mirror. So we've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Thank you guys all for coming. We are all here at the Plow Hotel, which is a restaurant. It's a bar as well, and of course, it is a hotel. But for about two years now, they've had this full Scottish breakfast challenge, and hundreds have already tried. There's only been eight winners, so I've got 26 minutes now. They've got a pretty cool time limit. Every time somebody wins, the time limit goes down. Anytime somebody loses, the time limit goes up by a minute. My beautiful girlfriend, Katina Eats Kilos, she just did this challenge. I won't say whether she won or lost, but uh, she did have 27 minutes, and now I've got 26 minutes. So the theme here is pretty much three. There's two of some things. We've got three scrambled eggs. We've got three fried eggs, three rashers of bacon, three tatty scones. There's a whole bunch of mushrooms, two tomatoes, three sausages, and then we've got three Lauren sausages, two full slices of toast, two slices of French toast, two things of black pudding, and I have no idea why, but people keep asking if I've had haggis. I've had haggis like every day. There are two things of haggis on this. And then in addition to that, we've got two big things of baked beans. Both of these are optional, but it is a Scottish breakfast, so I of course have to go with a tenant's beer. We've got a pint there. And then I'm trying to be healthy here, so I've got a sugar-free iron brew. Both of these, like I said, are optional. But 26 minutes, if I fail, it's gonna be $17.95. And if I do win, I'll get my entire breakfast meal for free. No sweet t-shirt today, but I will be the ninth person with my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame here at the Plow Hotel. Let's get this challenge started. Eight people have beaten this thing, with Katina being the most recent winner. But the current record holder is our friend Adam Beard Meets Food. He did this like a year ago, and uh, he didn't go all that quick. He could have gone a lot quicker. His time, 13 minutes and 53 seconds. So we are going to try to beat that. I haven't beaten any of his records yet. So let's just shut up and eat and see what happens. The goal is actually under 10 minutes. One, two, three. Boom. All right, black pudding first. Oh, my. That's good. This sausage is freaking girthy. Got two pieces of bread here. I'm using them for sandwiches. Delicious black pudding. Done with that, though. Three minutes, five seconds in. We're getting it. Do another egg. This is so good, it's going right down. Four minutes in. Let's actually make a sandwich with these touchy scones, uh, potato scones, or I guess they call them farls in Ireland, but we'll make a sandwich with those. Yummy so far. Uh, we'll start with some iron brew. And it is, oh no, 214, it's plenty of time for a beer. Okay. Last bits of the mushrooms. Then we're gonna do some haggis. Oh, haggis is always good. I'm sure this will be too. 527. Oh, if you don't really think about what it is, it's so good. If 
you've never had haggis, get to Scotland and try it. It's so yummy. I don't even really know how to describe it. Have a haggis and black pudding breakfast roll. This is a thick piece of bread used for the French toast. And there is a heavy cream on the French toast and I taste it. <laughs> so good though. Well, no 10 minutes, that just passed, but we still got plenty of time to beat the bearded one. When you have a beard that long, it's tougher to eat fast. You gotta keep it around this uh, length. All right, done with the sugar-free iron brew. Now beans, using my big spoon. I've said this before, but I had no idea that you could eat beans with breakfast before going over to uh, New Zealand in 2010. So good. Setting the record for this one for America. Alright, technically we're done, but let's do the beer too. Hopefully this isn't the only Adam Beard meets food record I beat on this trip, but we'll see what happens. Cheers, thank you guys all for coming. after that one. I do have the new record, 13 minutes and 28 seconds. 13.28, I cannot tell you enough about how good that challenge was and I really wanted to rush through it, uh, not only to get the record, but also because I've got a really big breakfast coming up tomorrow in Dunfermline, which is unnecessarily big. But, oh, this one, everything was so good. Big thank you to Gary, the chef, for cooking everything up, this massive Scottish fry-up. Loved the French toast. That's my first time having French toast of this trip, including Ireland. Everything was just so good. So, big thank you to everybody here with the Plow Hotel here in Stenhouse Mirror, or Larbert, Scotland. And thank you guys all for coming. <laughs> Remember, the Plow Hotel is, it's a hotel, but also it is a restaurant, which we are in now. And then behind me is the bar. So if you want food, they've got awesome stuff here. I've been checking out all the different menu items. And if you don't want food, they've got plenty of beer they serve too, including Scottish tenants. For me, it was overall win 1,105. Today, I'm going to win my 1795 meal for free. I will not get a sweet t-shirt, but I will be the ninth person on the Wall of Fame here at the Plow, and I will be the new record holder. So that was delicious. Really happy that we were able to get here. Oh, on to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. So we are just gonna shut up and eat on today's video. Uh, but still, I'm sure some of you aren't going to be happy, so just comments away. We are going to have a dominant day. Okay. Do you think I could do it, babe? Oh, of course. All right, thank you. Totes. Oh, my knee hurts.